after all our parts had been assembled into one well-functioning boat. Every subsystem had to be tested to ensure its functionality, endurance and reliability. After several tests and tweaks of our hydrogen system, our high voltage system and our foiling system, we have finally completed our boat. But of course, we could not have done all of this these last few months without the tremendous help of all of our partners. But what do industry experts and professionals think of our mission to propel the maritime industry to a more sustainable future? Well, the current sustainability of the maritime industry is not sustainable. <laughs> it's, you know, it needs to improve and it needs to happen quickly. Well, the, the maritime industry, especially the shipping, is uh, still based on uh, fossil fuels, largely. And um, the transition to sustainable fuels is only starting, just starting. I think the main challenge is finding a new energy carrier for the future. Uh, which is very exciting because uh, sustainable energy carriers uh, are inherently less energy dense than uh, diesel and other energy carriers. Obviously there is no silver bullet. Huh? We need a lot of different uh, uh, techniques and measurements to uh, make the industry more sustainable. And hydrogen is definitely uh, 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 forming a big part of that in the future, I'm convinced. And we need to work together to make the solutions truly sustainable from the production till the end of when we are consuming the hydrogen. What we see nowadays is that uh, all the ship owners are looking for the next generation vessels in design but also in propulsion and of course in, in the fuel. We want to be on the edge of technology and that's why we think it's very important that, that students explore the edge of technology just to see what is possible importance of students having this type of project is uh, paramount, I think, so that they are able to learn these things and experience these things while studying makes them so much better prepared for the future when they can go out there and actually make the implementation of the innovations in the market and in, in the industry. Hydrofoil technology is one of the key enablers for zero emission sailing, which is also very unique about the Hydro Motion Team boat. Um, this boat sails fully uh, zero emission. A project like this for sure is important. Um, yeah, it really inspires the industry, but it also inspires a younger generation of engineers. All the students that contribute to the various teams end up being an ambassador of a more sustainable maritime industry, which is very good. They all find their ways one way or the other in the maritime industry or in the technical world. And it's good to see that all these people believe in a more sustainable maritime industry. I think we all have a responsibility to think about our future and how we're going to solve uh, big uh, energy transition questions. So this is one big part. Well, I think the, the, the future of the energy transition is all about collaboration. When I saw the boat with all of these logos and I realized that all of us are uh, contributing to this really interesting and necessary project, then you know, we are all cooperating to support these students. There are lots and lots of very old ships in the world that need to be replaced by zero emission ships, so there's a lot of work to be done there. This team of young engineers, in cooperation with all the companies involved, show what can be done in a relatively short period. Develop the boat that clearly gives us a little view of the future, uh, which is very hopeful and encouraging, I would say and helps to contribute to a better and brighter future for next generations to come.